standard players. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside right now. You may be asking, so what? It's raining. Well, let me just tell you, standard players, that uh, the storms are coming for you. Why is this storm coming for me? Well, I'll tell you why. Your, your secret is, is, is far from safe anymore. If you look closely, you see the cat combo, the cauldron familiar, the witch's oven. It, it's, it's everywhere these days. It's sprinkled in all the decks, okay? You got Jun food. You got Golgari food. Heck, you even got Rakdos Aristocats. And I've had it up to here. So, on this channel, me, the Grey Goose, on Saturdays, makes a four or five color deck. And so let me just tell you about a little bit of uh, a deck that I've been piloting that I've had some uh, more than moderate success, you could say, against this cat plague. So let me tell you what color combination it is that's going to help you get rid of cats, you see. White, blue, black, red, green. That's right, all five colors. You may think, you may be thinking, what? Wait, whoa. I, I, I thought five colors died off when Field of the Dead got banned. Along with the, the, the Golos basically disappearing, the gates, the, the five color gates combination is all stuffed into one package. Well, I'm here to tell you, Five Colors is back, and it's back in a big way. You want to know why? Against these cats, there's one little keyword that I found that uh, deals with them. You've probably heard of it before. It's called flying. That's right. Well, uh, okay, yeah, sure. You know, flying evasion goes over our cats, but so what? What flyers you got that are going to bring the heat? Well, let me tell you about a little legendary dragon that I know. Mr. Niv Mizzle, I like to call him. And he is bringing what I like to call the fizzle to the cats. Okay? You know, it's not just him that's the flyer. I, I have to also, I have to recognize... You know, one other partner in crime here for the flying wombo combo against the cats. And that's a little uh, jellyfish hydra beast I like to call Mr. Hydroid Crisis. Who I recommend running anywhere from 1 to 3 in any given deck against this cat plague. You go over them. If, if they try and O2 goose you who's golden, who, who would watch a golden goose anyway? It's all about the gray goose, okay, fam? Your, your, your hydroid crisis has this thing called trample. Just roll right through them. You're also gaining your life with the hydroid. You're, you're gaining cards. You're gaining card advantage because they run the trail of crumbs and all that BS. Well, guess what? We run five colors. So we have more than a modest selection of enchantment and artifact hate removal spells. Let's talk about I included Oath of Kaya, Angrass Rampage, Knight of Autumn, Old Man Hefe, the Time Raveler himself, Dead Sprout, it, Doom Foretold. It's got it all. And it destroys cat decks. In fact, in this platinum ranked traditional standard best of three watch what happens to this cat player by the end of the match let's see if he's actually salty enough that he chooses to rope me because he cannot believe the beatdown that I brought to him with mezzle fizzle let's watch the gameplay all right so our nibble fizzle sizzle deck Opening hand not looking amazing. I don't have a blue for the Hefe. I'm on the draw though. 
feeling a bit ballsy with it. Let's try it out. We went down to six. Seems decent. And that's what's going to save us. So let's go ahead, put this down. Next turn, we'll just Plains Urban Utopia. And then our mana will basically be fixed. Trail of Crumbs. Who doesn't like... Who doesn't like playing against cats and ovens, right? Who doesn't? And in my main board, I don't have near enough enchantment removal. And look, he, he's even playing enchantment removal. What a little baby. So that can be a red or a black. So this is our black. There you go. So obviously he's playing defensive artifact enchantment because he's playing artifact enchantment. Wow, there we go. Cat? No, but he has three open. What's three? Who knows? Or cares, frankly. So it's all about right now. Yeah, go ahead. What do you got? If I target it, he's just going to um, do that. Let's get rid of lands. I have too many lands. Too many. Let's go for a blue. Yeah. Draw a card. Good job. So he used up his free food. I guarantee you he... I guarantee you he has a Gilded Goose. Awesome. All right, cool. So that's an instance. Um, blue, black. All right, let's make it rain a little bit. If he wants to play something degenerate, well, I've got some cards that can kind of match him too. So do I want to just strike him? Or do I want a Deafening Clarion him? The answer is obviously Deafening Clarion with another Oath of Kaya. So he's going to play that degenerate combo. But I have a lot of massive cards that he's going to have to get through to win. So if he wins this round, he deserves it. With this... Silly little hand, but these artifacts, enchantments that are annoying as all. Yes, he is digging because he knows it's over. Right? He knows it's over. He doesn't even see that I have a death sprout. Right. So that's three, four, five, six, green, green, red. I don't, I don't think it really matters, right? So let me swing in first. Let me get that nice, nice damage in. I don't really get a proc off of this, but that's okay. I'm gonna put him down with a one, one counter. And now he sees that I have some big old baddies on the board. That he's going to not be able to get through. Alright. So that's how you beat that sort of degenerate deck without even sideboarding. Nib miz it. <laughs> Nibble fizzle. So now we're going to sideboard appropriately. A.K.A. get rid of all of his enchantments. That's the most important thing. Thought erasures. I don't know about Drown in the Lock. Hydroid's excellent in this sort of matchup. All right. So as much as Death Sprout kind of helped there, it's not what you want. And Ravager Worm either, obviously. Um, Deafening's okay, but instead of four, I think about a two. Because he can go wide, but he can come right back if they're cats, for example. Just a strike. Not good enough. 
Angrath's not good enough. Doom. I think one less Doom. One more Deafening. Because Clarion is two sides to a coin. If he pings you super low, but you have something like a big monster, Hydroid, Niv, you can at least lifelink attack. Uh, not to mention uh, board clear the, the little stuff. Wow. Um... I'm insane to keep this, aren't I? One green. One green. It's not a green. Or land. That is a land. It's a land, so I can't be too picky right now. <laughs> Look at this, um, look at this engine he already has online, though. That's called, we're getting screwed over super early. Part of it being our fault, but that's fine. Yes, draw your one card. Good job. So good at the game. If you can't tell, I'm kind of sick of cats by now. I, I, you know, there's the oven, so all he needs now is a cat, and he has his infinite combo, essentially. Duress. <laughs> well, he's going to notice I'm kind of running low on lands, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to get rid of Thought Erasure. He's like, well, if he gets a blue, right, and take away my key card... I mean, I guess it's a hard decision, right? I'm up one game on him. So he's taking away the land. Uh, okay, sure. All right, so he's, he's kind of showed that he's out of cards too, but he can quickly get them back with Trail of Crumbs. Let's hope I draw a land here. No. Cool. So what we do now is we wait 10 years for him to, to, to go through his turns. So he drew a card. All right, excellent. Good job, you drew a card. Hey, why not a second Trail of Crumbs, right? Why not? Play a land. Sack the food. Draw two. Or or don't. Um, but I can use this here on the temple. Auto pay. That gets sacrificed, but hopefully I draw a freaking land. Don't be like me, guys. Don't be like me. Let's go. Come on, dude. Alright, Beanstalk Giant. It's all you, bro. 
I'm on a three turn counter. Probably less now, actually. I have definitely lost this match. And it's all due to my own incompetence. All due to my own incompetence. I changed the sideboard up a little such that I can deal more with things like uh, the Beanstalk Giant. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this hand already looks infinitely better than the one I got last, last round. Uh, I can guarantee you he probably has two if not three or four duress in his opening hand. So he's just going to keep doing that. But between the Golden Egg and the Urban Utopia, I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of land or, or uh, card draw generation. So let's go. Let's let's get a forest here with the Fabled Passage on uh, the turn one here. Okay, good. He can't duress me already. Wow, there are small little um, blessings in life. Yay, forest. All right, pass. Let's go. Doesn't matter. Let's just do this first. I don't have to worry about fixing just yet. Okay, all right. Gilded Goose. Goose. Excommunicated, like, hardcore. So anyways, um, let's draw a card, because why not? Okay, interesting. I want to leave a couple unseen, so if he has a dress, he'll just go ahead and burn it. Good. Yeah, you got an Oath of Kaya. I bet you feel pretty good about that. And now I'm about to Nizzet Reborn. Okay. I'm about to Nizzet freaking Reborn on your freaking face. Be really scary for him. To deal with. Or to try and deal with. Try and deal with. We'll put this down. I don't need to worry about taking any damage. I don't need to right now unnecessarily. So one, two, three, four, five with two golden eggs. That's easily a Niv Mizzet. Uh, I'll go ahead and get a red because I don't see any red. Sure. Hey, there's the Corvold. I was wondering. The problem is, right? That he is going to be a 6-6 six, six if he attacks. Right. My turn. Let's get a red. I surely will get some sort of card that can deal with him. Yep. So I, I have this to deal with him and this. So he, he can deal with one or the other, I think, but not both. Uh, also, I have a Niv Mizzet. Oh, by the way. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. Yeah, he had to think for about five minutes just for the duress alone. I bet this is causing him to have a mini aneurysm. Maybe he won't attack at all. Maybe he's overloaded. Yep, he's overloaded. Okay. Three. Or five, six. I eh, can't do both. So that seems good. Auto pay. Sure. Yeah, I don't have enough to do anything else. Let's smash in. Hey, it's a one for one. Look at that. Really didn't see that coming. Oh, I don't have any more lands. I have one, two, three, four. Or five. So that's literally a, a useless land. <laughs> okay. 
Good to know. I don't think I've ever had that happen where, I, I mean, I don't know, that's pretty rare, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right. Take my Teferi, you big bully. Or my Doom Foretold. Hey! So how do I want to do this? I think the answer is just Niv Mizzet and just out everything him at this point. Because with the cat out, with the goose out... Yeah. I just do that. Those look good to me, love. Those look pretty darn scary to me. Yes, get your food. It's going to save you. I'm going to gobble it up like the dragon I am. Okay. Is he going to hold back on me? Well, I have a thought erasure. <laughs> You want to hold back, you go right ahead. Casualties of war. He took care of my thought erasure. He took care of my hydroid crisis. But what he didn't take care of No, oh, that's just bad, dude. Whatever. This sucks. Mana screwed of all things. <laughs> life dude I don't care go go ahead I don't care yes there we go urban utopia yay is that a land no. now my fabled passage has a use <laughs> Woo, doggy man this is getting spicy now, isn't it? This is getting spicy. One, two, three, four, five. I can make this six, which is a four, four. That's not enough yet. That's not enough. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could thought erasure. No. So what are you holding on to, dude? A land. But I'll get to surveil either way. Stomp. You gonna stomp me? What do you have? Something you don't want me to see, but you have to let me see. Yes, I, I thought it would be something scary like that, so. Whoops a doodle. Uh, sure. So the cauldron is the is is gonna get sacked here. The goose is gonna make a food. The problem is I'm about to play a big old hydroid. Now I might just do the guild globe. Yeah, the 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 guild globe with the knight, and then save the next turn for the hydroid. So he's essentially just gonna have to keep. Spending his mana on stupid food, which is totally fine. This is actually not good. This is really not good. Graveyard to the hand. So I'm just going to kill him. 
Yep, gonna kill him. Doom's gonna go away. I can't, I can't deal with the goose and the trail of crumbs plus a backlog of four foods. So we're just gonna play massive uh, hydroid here. Yep, six six. Okay, not gonna mess around with this anymore. I need Knight of Autumn to come down too. So let's see. I think I have to do this no matter what right now to get rid of that. There you go. Come on, do your cat combo. Jeez, this guy is slow. Man. Yes, draw your one card, dude. Come on. Disgusting. Disgusting top decks. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. He's gonna win. All it takes is like one or two trail of crumbs and a deck wins. That's disgusting. All right, we're gonna hold him back. We're gonna we're gonna do this next turn, I guess. Um, hopefully, I don't regret it. All right? He's able to bring the cauldron familiar back for about thirty years now, so there's no point. His turns take so long. Yes, just just shock yourself out because you're gonna play so much degenerate crap. Let's go, come on. Come on, dude. Play your hasty boy. I'm gonna block him. Come on. Attack with your cauldron and your deathless knight. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Three, six, seven, eight. So five, six. All right, and then the next turn, I deal three to all, and I lifelink. Crisis into Crisis, that is really hard to come back from. I know from experience, on the other end of it. So he's going to have to get some pretty crazy draws here. Is he going to be able to deal with it? I can't let this goose stay alive, man. It's... The whole engine here. <laughs> okay, well. All right. He doesn't know I have the Deafening Clarion. He has a Beanstalk Giant, which I am legitimately, bleh, legitimately slightly afraid of. Okay. Right. This match is going to go long, guys, by the way. It's going to go quite long. Mm -hmm. 
One, two. So one, two, three, four, five. problem with his whole strategy right I have flyers this guy does not have reach he just lost no he didn't lose but he came this close to losing But he lost. Well, three health. Let's see him deal with that. At one health. Or not. I don't need to block him. No. I think he was trying to get the trigger off, but it ain't, it's not going to work. He's wanting to sack it. To draw something with Trail of Crumbs, he, he knows he, that he needs certain cards to try and come back from this, which he can't. He cannot. You shut the Gilded Goose off. There you go. Is he going to make us wait it out? Probably. Seems like a degenerate like that playing this sort of deck. So yeah, he's literally going to just uh, rope us. He can't accept defeat. Typical cat player. I mean, I play cats too, I won't lie. But I don't like playing them and I don't play them often. So, doing this sort of stuff. This is the second game that it's happened tonight, by the way, of a cat player. Um, the first one, the storage space on my certain hard disk drive or SSD ran out of space. So, it got corrupted more or less and I had to redo the whole video so yeah but I beat that cat player too look he can't even let me swing in there for victory hmm.